Today on the channel, you had me at face paint no matter how little there is. Stu Grayson, AEW Unmatched Series 3. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel as we continue unboxing AEW Unmatched Series 3. And today on the channel, from the Dark Order and the Dark Order Wave, we've got Stu Grayson. And Stu Grayson, one of the longest term members of the Dark Order, and the only one to wear a little bit of face paint, so I'm okay with that as well. Funny story is Stu Grayson, I never knew he was from uh, Montreal, Canada, around there, you know, with the French accent and stuff. I was shocked when I heard him speak for the first time, as I just, for whatever reason, didn't expect that voice from him. But very interesting uh, for me, at least at the time, and I don't know if everybody knew he was from Montreal up there area so there you go but we're gonna do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so let's take a look at old Stu Grayson in the package of course you got that upper deck logo we're familiar to it by now we got three cards in here we'll unbox all those at the end of the week I'll do a separate video with AEW cards because I know cards aren't for everybody uh, so we'll do those in its own video. We got Stu Grayson off to the side. Look at all these extra hands here. Extra head. Oh, man. They're finally listening to old Kyle here. Uh, maybe not. But anyways, AEW right there. Love the packaging on the Unrivaled collection. But I love the Unmatched collection even more. As you guys, I made aware in the video before. Love the blue. Love the silver. Love the black. Just really does go, really does pop on the shelf. Number, number 18 in Series 3 down here, of course, AEW. AEW on the side, and then of course you get the back. Look at old Stu, smiling, laughing, got his big autograph there. We got the cross sell down below, the Dark Order wave as we know. Unboxing all these on the channels this week. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell as we'll do a special video where we rank the entire wave from my favorite to my least favorite, so stay tuned for that. This is from Dynamite Beach Break, 2-3-2021, Jacksonville, Florida. So very cool. Stu Grayson, first time in the line, I believe first action figure of all time. I don't believe he had a, um, what are they called, a micro brawler? I don't think he has. I'm not really up on my micro brawlers, but I believe he has not had a micro brawler. But correct me if I'm wrong, please. Can I get this out without destroying the card? Well, the cards, I should say. There it is. Got that. Got that. So there it is. We'll take a look at those later on this week, like I said. But we're here for the action figure. See you later. See you later. Bam, there it goes. All right, Stu Grayson in package. There he is, the old plastic prison. Looking only like he can look. Looking good. Looking fine. All right, pop these hands out. Hands, hands, head, and the body. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right. I love it. I love these extra accessories. We got the hand. We got the old Dark Order hand. We can throw up here if we want to. Got that nice wrapping on this, so you definitely know who it belongs to. So he's got that going on. And then AEW Jazzwares team, they're knowing what Kyle wants, and what Kyle wants, he wants two fists. Mr. Bungle told me many years ago, love is a fist, and they were exactly right. And we got two fists right here. Always should have at least one fist with your wrestling figures. And then we get Stu Grayson. Boy, he's got a little bit of a little looseness, a little hula hoop action, but tons and tons of flexibility there, but a little bit looser than I would like it to be. But man, can he ever move? Can he move? Uh, we got all the typical articulation we're seeing with these Jazzwares figures. We got the bicep swivel. We got the thigh swivel. We got the double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, of course, removable hands, arms, nice ratchet joints, nice loudness with them too. Listen to this. Well, now I can't move it. No, it won't move. There we go. Very loud ratchet joints on this one, so I like that going on. The diaphragm we showed about, of course, you got the waist as well, and then the ankles up, down, all around, all that kind of stuff. And then you got the boot cut as well. So very, very good looking figure here. Like I said, Stu Grayson, he's got a little bit of face paint. Even if it's just a little, we're going to count it. He looks like something out of Braveheart. Looks like something that might join up with uh, the Viking Raiders, the War Raiders, something like that one of these days. Got a little uh, armbands on the side, a little purple armband action that is movable. So you could pop that off if you were so inclined to remove it. He's got two knee pads going on. Uh, and then he's got his skirt. Very interesting skirt going on here. Or is it a kilt? I don't know what it is. But it looks like a, a bunch of rags that like moths got through. He's got holes throughout this thing. 
a little interesting. But longtime member of the Dark Order is one Stu Grayson. Uh, this head sculpt here has got the face paint going on, but a very smiling head sculpt, so it looks a little interesting. Pop that off, of course, plug and play as we know. And then we get the screaming head sculpt, which is pretty awesome as well. Boy, I don't know which one I like better. Uh, usually there's a clear winner in the head sculpt department, but I like the maniacal smile and I like the crazy scream. So you really can't go wrong either way here. Uh, and I can see somebody, some of those AEW crazies out there, which, hey, I'm all for it, but might buy two of these. Take the skirt off of one of them and then uh, put a different head on it, different hands. You can create almost two different Stu Grayson figures if you were so inclined. I'm trying to think, is there a way to remove... I thought there'd be some clips or something, but you take it off at the waist, pull that off like so, and then you're down here. So there is a way to get that off, but I thought that was interesting, but I do prefer that because I don't like the little poly pocket clip in style. Sometimes they don't fit as well. I like being able to just pull the waist off, slip it off, and there you go. You got the uh, Stu Grayson right there. He looks uh, a tad naked here. Very, very short tights, and he's got a little bit of a kind of a loincloth going on over that. Uh, nice attention to detail, but man, he looks very right out of the shower look almost uh, with this one. I don't think I mentioned the nice wrapping on the hands, so that's nice attention to detail as well. Just a very, very good Stu Grayson figure. First time in the line, first figure ever as far as uh, I remember at least. Got a little paint ding right here on the side, showing some white through there. That's unfortunate, but uh, easy to miss if you're unless you're really looking for it. But a solid, solid figure from Stu Grayson. I tell you what... Uh, some of these deeper cuts, and he's not super deep. He's been around since the inception of AEW, but uh, he's not a Daniel Bryan. He's not an Adam Cole. He's not a CM Punk. We can all agree with that, but I'm glad we got him in the line. I love that we got an entire team here in uh, Unmatched Series 3 representing the Dark Order. Truly fitting tribute to Brody Lee, but just really cool to get them all in the same set. I guess if you don't like the Dark Order for whatever reason, you're not going to like this set a whole lot, but... Uh, I still like this figure. I like everything that's going on there. Only negative I really have about this one, and you know I've talked about it in some of the other videos, unmatched figures seem to get the elbow issue figured out, and Stu Grayson, no different. His elbows feel nice and tight to me. Um, unrivaled, not the case, so I don't understand what that's about. But the pins are really becoming an eyesore at this time. Constant learning, constant improvement. We always talk about it here on the channel, uh, but definitely opportunities here to remove the pins. Can you imagine these figures with no pins? Ooh, I'm here. I'm here for it. And I got to think Jazzwares is smart enough to get that done in the future. So definitely stay tuned. Hopefully by the end of 2022, we'll see some pinless joints on some of these figures. But you never know. Eh, we'll just stay tuned. We'll figure it out together. But there's Stu Grayson. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this figure. Are you all in? you all out? you picking it up? I feel like you got to pick it up. If you're picking up one Dark Order, you got to get all of them. That's where I sit, as you guys know, right here at the table. But let me know your thoughts. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. As you guys know, we're going to rank the rest of these at the end of the week, so you don't want to miss those videos. And then, of course, give this video the old thumbs up. It always helps the channel. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And, of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Stu Grayson and the entire Dark Order... I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.